But first, let's bring in my panel on Friday, of course. Sky News contributor Prue McSween, Liberal Party Vice President Tina McQueen. Ladies, my dynamic duo, I'm going to get straight into it. <laughs> Tina, you are in the hot seat. What on earth is going on with this Senate spot in New South Wales? Still vacant after we lost the great Jim Molan. The moderates look like they're in charge. Uh, Andrew Constance, failed candidate, uh, former minister, of course. He wants to run. New South Wales Liberal Party President Maria Kokovic, she wants to run. Again, also a failed candidate. Surely for a spot to follow Molan, we should have one of the best conservatives in the country. Where are they? Oh, Peter, it's so disappointing. I mean, I had a meeting with her uh, this week saying that, look, we've got to introduce some form of KPIs or something for candidates because none of these, no one has nominated um, is the calibre of Jim. You know, it's absolutely disgraceful. But I do think the left have the numbers. And I think uh, Maria Kovacic, I think she wouldn't have resigned as president if she didn't think she'd be going straight into the Senate. So it's heartbreaking, absolutely yeah, yeah, yeah. heartbreaking. Yeah, hang on, hang on, hang on. But, but you know that there's a convention. If the moderate leaves the parliament, a moderate goes in. If it's uh, in, This is in the Senate anyway. Um, if a conservative leaves the spot, a conservative goes in. Why are the moderates breaking with tradition? Well, this is right. It's a right. It's what we call a right asset, Peter, as you, you know very well. And, well, I just think that, you know, they feel they've got the numbers and, um, you know, have done away with convention. But it, it's absolutely heartbreaking. You know, they, as I said, there's not one decent person to nominate for that spot. Yeah, it's shocking. I wonder why they're out of government right mm. across the country. Exactly. Other than Tasmania. But the mainland, mainland, they're in trouble. Hey, Prue, an interesting idea I picked up today out of Singapore. Now, they have just doubled their property taxes for foreigners, 60%. We've got people here, Australians, struggling to get into a home, to buy one, even to rent one. We've got a lot of uh, foreign buyers still owning Australian property. I think it's a pretty good idea, isn't it? Yeah, I reckon it is too. Uh, but the sad thing is, Peter, that we have consecutive governments of all flavours who have been negligent in terms of housing in this country and population management. And when you think of that we're about to get almost a million new people coming into this country when we've got so many homeless people renters who are just lining up spending hours wondering if they're ever going to get a place to to call home and you know it, it is absurd you, when i was growing up it wasn't even a great australian dream it was a given that you were going to be able to buy your own home have the hills hoist in the back backyard these days mm. that dream's gone and it's because we've had negligent governments who have not had the guts or the gumption to, you know, set the rules and, and get the builders, the developers out there. We haven't dammed Australia, so we, we've got plenty of land. We just haven't got plenty of people with any brains governing us. And we're bringing in all these migrants. No issue with migrants, but let's get the infrastructure in before we open up the doors. Hey, common sense from uh, Martina Navratilova. Bleeding obvious, of course, but to so many people shy away from this debate. She's called out the transgender swimmer, Leah Thomas. Thomas had some comments all about using feminism to push transphobic beliefs. Never, never Lovers said, well, hang on, Leah, that's not fair. We shouldn't have to explain it to you over and over again. Also, stop explaining feminism to feminists. I think this is fantastic, Tina. Oh, it is. Look, and really brave of her to do that, considering anyone that comments on this subject gets gets whacked. So, yeah, look, she made some great points. And I think we're all over uh, Leah Thomas, you know, why was me, let me swim. It's just ridiculous. I think when she was swimming for the men's team, um, she didn't do any good at all. And now suddenly is a, a champion in the, in the women's league. But Martina, I mean, more people have to come out, high-profile people like Martina, and support women in mm. sport. And point out the unfairness of men, women men. athletes, particularly women exactly. athletes. Hey, just a quick one, Prue. Uh, Meghan Markle getting herself a top Hollywood agent. What's going on here? Is she going to be a movie star or, or something else? No, I think these agents are the deal break makers for, uh, you know, producing shows and things that I think her days of being an, a, a really pathetic actress are done. <laughs> Although she's an actress continuing to act as far as I'm concerned anyway. She hasn't really given up mm. a role. But... Um, I think that she's, you know, read the room and she's going to try and make money behind the scenes. So, you know, she wants... What does she want? All these chick flits and 
comrades and things. That's what she's saying she wants. Well, you know, if her romance, uh, romantic uh, um, aptitude is anything that we can see with the romance she's got with the bloody prince, well, you know, we'll all vomit in the aisles if she if she goes down that track. She hasn't got any idea. Peter, if she wants to be believed with oh. that feel-good story, she should start and, and speak to her father again, you know, really. It would, it would speak to her father, not do to her husband's family, which is clearly done to her own, but yeah, uh, yeah. we could have a whole show on that. <laughs> Tina McQueen, Prue McSween, have a lovely weekend. Ladies, see you next week.